Piaget's theory of moral development focuses on how children's understanding of rules, fairness, and justice evolves through cognitive stages. He identifies three levels of moral development that correspond to six cognitive stages. Level 1, Preconventional Morality. This level, spanning from ages 4 to 10, involves morality controlled by external factors. Children see rules as fixed, imposed by authority figures, and judge actions based on consequences, not intentions. Stage 1, Obedience and Punishment. Morality is driven by avoiding punishment. Actions are considered wrong if they lead to negative consequences. Children are concerned with not getting caught, and morality is tied to fear of punishment. Stage 2. Individualism and Exchange Children recognize that others may have different interests. Morality is self-serving, guided by personal needs and exchanges. They follow rules when it benefits them, with fairness seen as equal exchange. Level 2. Conventional Morality this stage emerges in late childhood or early adolescence, aligning with Piaget's concrete operational thinking. Children begin internalizing societal norms and view morality in terms of relationships and social order. Stage 3. Good Interpersonal Relationships Morality is about pleasing others and gaining approval. Individuals act in ways that conform to the expectations of those they care about. The focus is on being a good person according to social standards. Stage 4. Maintaining social order. Morality expands to respect laws, authority, and maintaining societal structure. Right and wrong are seen as following rules that keep society functioning. The emphasis is on fulfilling duties and respecting authority. Level 3. Post-conventional morality. Few reach this stage, as it involves abstract, principled thinking. Individuals consider universal ethical principles that transcend laws and rules. Stage 5, Social Contract and Individual Rights People at this stage understand laws as social contracts designed for the greater good, but they also recognize that laws can be flawed. They value justice and human rights and see morality as upholding democratic principles. Stage 6, Universal Principles This final stage involves moral reasoning based on universal ethical principles, such as equality and human dignity. People follow their internal moral compass, even if it conflicts with laws or societal norms. This stage is rare and seen in moral leaders who challenge unjust systems. Piaget's theory explains that moral reasoning develops from a focus on self-interest and external control in childhood to more complex, abstract reasoning in adulthood. If you learn something new about how psychology affects our daily lives, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss the next episode. Until next time, stay sharp.